In League of Legends, the Magi Soulstealer has been updated since the last time we looked at it. On today's episode of LawMath, we'll be taking a look at how cost-effective the Magi Soulstealer is after these changes. Let's take a look at the item now. The Magi Soulstealer costs 1400 gold and grants 20 ability power. It will also grant 8 additional ability power per stack and 15% cooldown reduction at 20 stacks. Two stacks are gained on a kill, one stack is gained on an assist, and half the current stacks are removed on death with the amount removed rounding down to the nearest integer. The item now starts with 5 stacks initially, meaning one wastes 95 gold on stats when first purchasing this item. For reference, one saves 140 gold on ability power when purchasing a needlessly large rod. Each stack grants ability power worth 174 gold, making the item cost effective at 6 stacks or more. To be more cost effective than a needlessly large rod, a Magi Soul Stealer needs at least 7 stacks. This means if one gets an assist right after purchasing a Magi Soul Stealer, the item will become cost effective. If one gets a kill right after purchase, the item will become more cost effective than a needlessly large rod, and will only be granting 4 less ability power than it. At 20 stacks, one will have saved 2,990 gold on this item, making it incredibly cost effective in this state. However, if one dies with a Magi Soul Stealer, they will need to have at least 11 stacks to retain a cost effective version of the item, and at least 13 stacks to retain a version better than a needlessly large rod. Overall, a Magi Soul Stealer can quickly become cost effective, but can easily become a terrible purchase after just one death. Make sure to like this video if you've enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous LawMath episode. You can also like LawMath on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and watch me livestream on Twitch. Thanks for watching this episode of LawMath.